communication technologies have always also promoted good governance by facilitating citizens' access to public services and participation in legislative processes. But this vital technology has also been used as a tool for repression and intimidation. With the same technology, citizens have been controlled or denied access for information. The increased use of mobile phones, uh, internet, and other new technologies can be a great enabler of human rights. People were able to organize themselves, um, engage in meetings, uh, access information despite censorship. Um, they could uh, freely speak and reach the outside world. Documented human rights violations could be shared in real time. And there, uh, there were a number of opportunities, and there are a number of opportunities there which are very, very valuable. Uh, on the other hand, we see that there is a very professional and systematic use of censorship, monitoring, and repressing through those same technologies. Transparency is one of the key components, and that providing European publics with the information about what's going on in these issues will mean that they will be able to change their positions. At the same time, the overall goal should be to ensure that not just companies, but also states outside of Europe um, have an interest in creating an internet which we all believe at the end of the day can support human rights and fundamental freedoms and that should be the ultimate goal. It's a challenge not just for, for human rights but for a wider internet foreign policy that the, the European Union will need to try and develop and I hope that concepts of human security and human rights in a more general sense will be at the very core of this policy framework. We faced criticism, boycotts, even activist campaigns um, over a sale of uh, monitoring center equipment in Iran. We realized through our experience that the traditional industry uh, position that we as a company only deliver technology but that we have no responsibility for how our technology is being used is not acceptable anymore. As a result of, of what we as a company learned, Nokia Siemens Network's executive board approved a human rights policy and an accompanying due diligence process directly uh, related to this, uh, to, to this matter. So the question is not of being uh, in a condition to breach human rights. The question is the right use and the appropriate use of those lawful interceptions, shutting down of the networks and all sorts of things that the imagination of secret services, of course, uh, invent every day. In a large-scale shutdown of a network had never been experienced. So we had not anticipated the fact that in Egypt, which was the case for Mobinil and for Vodafone Egypt, the armed forces came into the CEO office and gave 30 minutes to shut down the network to be checked by the fourth armies in the street. The strategy tools do not refer just to technical solutions, uh, circumvention tools, but also to citizen empowerment, in particular education and training. People in this country should learn what the risks and opportunities brought about by internet are in order to fight computer illiteracy, to ensure the security and privacy of communications, as well as uh, to ensure uh, the ability for users to go around censorship where there is in place by uh, non-democratic uh, uh, regimes.